Call Simon Templer what you will, but never cross the saint. Find out why to your peril at 7.30pm tonight. But first, it's the Thames Men. So, how are we doing? Good, thank you very much. You look all nice and chirpy. How are you? Uh, I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles, and you are Alexander. And I'm and in... not, but not Alec, as we worked not out Alec, earlier. Not, not the infirm never, gardener. Never Alec, the Scottish infirm gardener. Never the infirm gardener who falls <laughs> asleep on the roads. <laughs> My name is Alex, and Alex. I'm in San Francisco. Yeah, <laughs> hard, hard to say with the lisp. <laughs> right. Maybe it'd be easy to be Alec. Uh, so, uh, hello, we are the Thamesman. We are a <laughs> a, a high budget, high value, super intelligent. <laughs> the action channel of quality performance, and you, you are in for a treat today because we're going to go back to one of our our, our our musician we 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 covered with Billy Strings. Billy Strings, uh, and and honestly, it, it, we had a lot of comments where we said we because we kind of focused on Billy Strings because we'd heard of Billy Strings, strings uh, and and uh, and we weren't as knowledgeable as we should have been about Tommy Emmanuel, who apparently has been voted one of the world's best guitarists, and so yeah, yeah, absolutely, we hadn't heard of him. Um, I also put I did a faux pas. And I said, oh, he's English, because he spoke English. Mm, no, but he spoke it in an Australian accent. <laughs> so uh, so I do apologise about that. He is Australian. And 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 so, yeah, we had never heard of him. We know Billy Strings, obviously, yeah. because we covered him uh, before. So we just thought it was, you know, um, a nut, you know, someone bringing Billy Strings up. And I was, I was pretty goddamn amazed. And, yeah, he turned out to be. And, he, and then straight after that, he's playing down the road uh, in a small little place down here. Oh, is he really? You should go. That'd be awesome. I know in Mill Valley, I, I need to go and check it out. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Know, I'm just all gigged out. I've just did too many gigs. You know, we did that run of gigs. Yeah, we had a load, load of gigs, which is great. Right. So, I think you know what that is after awesome. COVID. I think it's gig revenge. Yeah, they all well, actually, all the bands are trying to make money right now. They're all out there touring like crazy, and and they seem to be selling out and making huge money from the tickets and stuff. Yeah, I went and saw the the, the Pixies uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, they were. I love the Pixies, and they were so good. It was so. I think I think we've been pent up for so long. We also are on gig revenge and vacation revenge as well. Um, <laughs> everyone's booking, you know, just like mad vacations in, you know, because we've been pent up in these little places for so long. It's like it's like fuck it, I'm going to China. No, 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 no. Fuck, I'm going somewhere else but China. <laughs> Well, I'm going to England for Thanksgiving, so I'll be there. So that's that that's exciting. Will be, that will be miserable. <laughs> England in November. Could I bet be the fighter. flights were cheap. They were actually cheaper than going at Christmas. So, you know, it's all right. Yeah, but the English, are, they'll still be all, you know, in November. They'll still have sunscreen on. <laughs> <laughs> Only like six hours of light a day. Uh, it, it, you can, you know, England in November. It will be wall to wall Christmas adverts on TV, and, and you know all that sort of false cheer, and uh, 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 then it'd be grey and raining. So yeah, but the apart from seeing your family, right? Um, uh, what else are you looking forward to on this great vacation? Uh, Cornish pasties and sausages. We we can get that here. No, they're not the same. Definitely uh, not the same. Actually, you know that. Actually, true. actually, actually, sausages here are shit. They're nothing like a good proper sausage. No. Now America, you think? You, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You just you you. We call them bangers in England. Your bangers here are crap. <laughs> they just don't have you know. But yeah, and, you, have, you have sunshine. And then pork pies. It's. I don't like. I don't mind the pork and I don't mind the pie. It's the bit in the middle, the jelly. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what it is. Yeah. No. So some of that. So going down an English pub with a fire burning and a pint of bitter, uh, and and a cheese and pickle sandwich. How about that? That's not something to look forward to, isn't it? That's worth how much? How much is the flight? A couple <laughs> of thousand. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, you have a lovely time. You know where I'm off to. Yeah, you're going to have to um, like I'm four of <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm not going to England. That's that's all. But you're going somewhere tropical, it, aren't you? 
I'll think of you when I'm out. When I'm out, oh, <laughs> not having not having my pork pie. Yeah, but after you've been attacked by you know mosquitoes and insects and stuff, you think of me by my pork pie with my pork pie by the fire, and I'll be no mosquitoes. You know, you'll be safe, Honestly. safe with botulism. <laughs> Uh, an heart attack. So we're going back to Tommy Manuel, and he's done. We're doing a track called Intuition in 1980. No, no, it's not called Intuition. No, <laughs> it, you read. You do all the words. Read it. You do all the big words. You know what I mean. I'll just, I'll, I'm going to do all the sign language for all the. Uh, uh, can you interpret? Uh, how about how about okay. an interpretive dance? Right, I'll, I'll interpret this. Go on, <laughs> the song by Tommy Manuel is called Initiation. <laughs> uh, shall I read the notes as well? Should I do an interpretation or is that just No, rude? let's not. Okay. <laughs> You're just confusing. I'll me. say sorry to everyone. <laughs> is that really sorry? No, that's Apple. That's the only <laughs> one I know. <laughs> and I learned that from a gorilla. Not to insult the deaf people. <laughs> But the whole Coco, Coco was a gorilla. And I thought, if a fucking gorilla can learn sign language, I can learn off the gorilla. And the only <laughs> thing the gorilla kept doing was apple. So I think he was hungry. And that's when I gave up sign language. <laughs> and then the gorilla died. Coco's dead now. Coco <laughs> knew 30 words, but she kept saying apple, apple. So I learned apple. And, and what, she died of starvation or choking on an apple? <laughs> <laughs> she died of apple. <laughs> apple. Yeah. She was allergic to apples. <laughs> oh, all these years. Give me another word for God's sake. What's the word for they banana? I banana. banana. They didn't teach you. That was too complicated. She, the only word she could work out was apple, and she was allergic to it. <laughs> Fuck, another gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Would have learned a lot more words if it hadn't died. <laughs> Fuck her, only you can. What, what are the odds of that, eh? Alert. <laughs> what she knew. Let's pretend that is banana from now on. All right, All right sorry. Let's go back to Tommy Emmanuel. Tommy Emmanuel. Tommy Emmanuel. <laughs> and the song is Initiation. <laughs> Look, this is ridiculous. An amazing piece. <laughs> more, more, more a work of art than a song, just like this program, weirdly. Uh, detailing the rite of passage of a young Aboriginal man's initiation. God, good job you're not reading this one, isn't it? If you ever wanted to watch a movie played on guitar, this is it. One man and his guitar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid, sorry. <laughs> what, did, what did you just do? I missed that one. Headphones. Oh, right. Headies. He Headies. <laughs> Initiations. <laughs> <sighs> All right. As the vicar said to the infirm gardener, <laughs> three, two, one, go.
Oh, that is next level guitaring. Not sure what I just saw there. That's a, like a really complicated cheese board. Smorgasbord. That was that amazing. Was, <clears throat> first of all, when it started uh, started off, I thought, avant-garde shite. Oh, really? I, 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 I tell the truth. I thought, avant-garde shite. I could do that. But then, but then the the, the timing and the, the, the digital effect pedal and everything and he, the the energy he put into it and then at times I just was whisked away. I, I just the, it was the whole body element of it, like the the using every element of his guitar and his body and his and his uh, just the sort of but the tones he was getting and, and the sort of consistency of it and the just the it was. It was ridiculous how I mean, I mean, any other guitarist would look at it and go, "No, I can't give up. Can't do that." <laughs> the, the bit like, I read, really like that he did one bit is when you get neck of it, neck of a tone, you bend like that, you can just move it out, you know, out of tune and back. And he did, and he just it was so sublime and it, literally, yeah, he used from the neck all the way down to there. And I mean, I mean, he completely mullered that guitar. Yeah, exactly. It was you could you could you could feel the wood. With, you know, like when he, yeah. you, you could feel the texture of the guitar in the song. You know, the 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 sort of running your fingers across it, and 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 the, just the sort of. But his timing was sublime, and his his like, I could see why when we were sort of all focused on Billy Strings last time, people were like, "You've got to see Tommy Emmanuel," because that is like nothing I've ever seen. No, I, I have I have no cultural uh, connection with any aborig Aboriginal uh, um, uh, initiation ceremony. I've got I have got none, okay. so I don't know. But I can hear elements in there of Australia. Yeah, I heard it. I heard I, it sounded like the didgeridoo that was going on in there and stuff. Now I'm I'm English and I live in West Coast America, and we've got uh, shopping malls here, so I really am far removed from. The initiation ceremony, I've got no idea, but it, it felt Australian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and just, but but like the boldness to do a piece like that, which is just, you know, what was it, nine, ten minutes long or something like that? Uh, and, and just, uh, it was mind-numbingly clever, brilliant, astounding piece of guitar work. Just, yeah. Yeah, and I also think it would have been 20 times more powerful life because one thing is sitting here watching it, um, you with your headphones on, but actually being there and actually feeling the feeling the music going through because there were some deep tones in there, and, yeah. and and actually you know being in the room with them would have been it would have been great. That was recorded just up the road for me in Chico. Well, you should go to that show in Mill Valley if you can. I mean, yeah, that would be a great date night. Huh? I think it's, I think it's just gone. I mean, I was, I was amazed. I think it's just gone. But uh, as I say, I got gigged out from revenge gigs. But, uh, but when that one came, I should have gone. I should have gone because it was a really small little venue as well. Oh, wow. That would have been, yeah, that would have been amazing. So, wow. I, I enjoyed that a lot. That was very different. That was like, you know, seeing the track before, like was Metallica we did. Uh, you know, like talk about one extreme to the other, you know, just amazing. No, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, Tom Emmanuel. No, I've seen two tracks of his now, one with Billy Strings and one with that. So, uh, again, if there is more, to, obviously there is. I mean, the guy, if he if he's so good, he's now um, not even playing the strings. He's just playing the body of the guitar. He must be an absolute, you know, what else should we, what is it, what are his key, key, keystone tracks we should be checking out? Yeah, well, I'm glad we go back to Tommy Emmanuel. That was that yeah. was important. I think I'm glad we did that because uh, we were culturally crap on the last yeah. one, and uh, so uh, and, and this one we're culturally crap on as well. Well, <laughs> well, I think we're learning. The whole point of the reaction channel is for us to learn and see things we've never seen before, and that no. is absolutely in that ballpark. Our reaction channel, but most reaction channels, it's to stop and talk and break up the song and try and get all the money or whatever. <laughs> ours, well, that's true. Ours, you learn what Apple is. <laughs> and we make no money so <laughs> quite rightly so well quite, but if you want to help patreon which we're a bit rubbish at uh and up there, some t-shirts up there, up there. Uh, uh yeah they're coming actually we got some already in the other spread shot in the oh, other wait, show wait yeah. for the next one Super oh, limit, limited edition very limited but we'll, we'll release them later all right thank you very very much everyone i love that one that was one man and his guitar. One man and his guitar. Excellent. All right. Cheers. Well,
See you on the flip side. (laughs) (laughs) What to do? (laughs) Uh, do